Hey guys, so it is science time and this week we are starting a new unit over magnets. Yesterday you had an attendance question that asked you, what do you know about magnets? So let's watch this um, video. It's not very long and then we'll have an activity to do after. Hey, look, hey, look what, what I made. What, what is it? It's a it's fake. fake. You can you drag, drag black things to make different mustaches and hair on him. Sweet, how does it work? What do you think this toy is made of? How do you think it works? Well, this is a magnet, and the black things are made of iron. Iron is attracted to the magnet, so the magnet can move the iron filings. Oh yeah, I know about magnets. My mom has a magnet collection on the fridge of all the places we visited. My family does too. We also have alphabet letters on the fridge that my little brother likes to play with. There are even magnets in here, look. I guess a filing cabinet and a refrigerator must be made of metal since the magnets stick to them. And not just any metal, but a kind of metal that has iron in it. Those magnets up there must be pretty strong. Why do you say that? They'd have to be powerful to hold the papers and photos that we put up there. Like that one? Hey, isn't that the time they got lost in the woods at science camp? Yeah, I'm glad I had a compass. Otherwise, I could have been out there for a very long time. Remind me, how does a compass help you if you're lost? The compass has a needle inside of it, and it points north because it lines up with the Earth's magnetic field. That way, you can tell which direction you need to go. Cool. I didn't know the Earth had a magnetic field. What other things are magnetic? Well, let's see if there's anything else here that magnets are attracted to. Attracted? What's that? It means drawn to. If something is attracted to the magnet, the magnet can pull it. Okay, here's a box of stuff we can test. Which of these items do you think will be attracted to the magnet? Let's see if our predictions were correct. magnet picked up metal things, but the penny's metal too. Why did the penny get left behind? Remember, metals without iron are not magnetic. That penny is copper, so it wasn't attracted to the magnet, just like the eraser and the pencil. I see. Hey, these magnets have two different sides. Have you heard that opposites attract? Each magnet has two poles. The opposite ones will pull toward each other. What about the same sides? If you put north and north together, or south and south together, they push away from each other. Oh, I know the name for this. They repel each other. Exactly. Even if you push really hard, they won't stick together once you take your hands away. I wonder how many paper clips this could pick up. Let's see. I wonder if I had a bigger magnet. I bet all the paper clips would stay on. It looks like now we can investigate the force of gravity as well as magnetism. There are lots of different kinds of magnets, and they're used for lots of things. Like what? Doorbells, speakers, credit cards, and electric motors for a start. Hmm, I heard magnets are used to sort metal in junkyards. I wonder how strong a magnet has to be to pick up something really big like a car. There's always more questions to answer. That's what I love about science. We'll see you next time.